Hey everyone, have I here bring another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be discussing the global timeline for February through May 2023. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Well, let's go ahead and dive right in. So I did do a global timeline video about a month ago, and we focused on January through March. And really, a lot hasn't changed from my prediction. Everything has pretty much gone as planned. There's a couple things that's coming early. For example, the EZA to God coup. I assume like everyone else that that unit was gonna come toward the end of February because I think that was announced sometime in a live stream or a Dokkan out or something like that. But we actually are any, ending up getting that earlier in the kind of the first, early first half of February. And, uh, and then we don't know if we're going to get LR Goku as the double rate spanner quite yet, but I think everything is kind of leaning toward that way. So, and then of course with uh, Saiyan Day Celebration, we'll talk about that in a little bit later. But when you look at the celebration overall, something ended up popping up that said, oh, okay, well, we're going to give you a teaser or a preview of what Saiyan Day might actually look like. And that's with this little tweet about bingo and I did a whole video about what I think this unit's going to be and what the community's thinking as well but I think this is a nice clue to what the same day celebration might actually end up looking like now when you're looking at the timeline now in February this is what we know for sure is going to happen so uh, depending on when you're watching this video here uh, the God coup uh, is going to be coming out and it's going to be easy. Yay. That's going to be very interesting to see what the dynamic of that unit's going to be. Even if you just increased his dodge chance to great chance, he's going to be a 10 times better unit just with that. Give him some defense and some more attack. He might be really, really good, that easy. Yay. Now, it's going to also include the Int Kid Goku as well. Uh, so you're going to get two easy A's in one in the celebration that's going to be leading into... Um, the next banner so we expect or I, at least I expect that the double rate LR Goku banner is going to be the next banner for the global version of the game because on the 15th is when the Kid Goku the Dokkan Festival exclusive Kid Goku uh, ends and I assume that this banner is going to basically take over the rest the reason why I think this is the case is because the seven or eight year anniversary is going on right now over on JP and we have to have banners that can compete with the craziness that's going to happen in part two in that campaign and I think the only thing that can even like you know make a dent for some people who want to even summon is the LR Go crew so we'll see what happens and it's a carnival unit so it's, it's a major unit to have and I foresee that uh, people would be interested in summoning for this unit it's a very very good unit so now when you look at into February through March so this should just take care of the rest of February here March is like 99% likely that's going to be the Dokkan Festival exclusive tech Bardock um, that's also going to include the EZA to uh, the other Bardocks, like the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, uh, which is crazy that we don't have another Super Saiyan 3, like, Dokkan Festival exclusive leader for the Super Saiyan 3 category. It is, it's crazy to me. Now, that's going to lead into Saiyan Day, and like I mentioned before, this whole bingo thing is, you know, having people discuss like what unit's going to be is it going to be battle of gods is this going to be really you know focusing on that well i think a lot of people are looking this as a god coup possible god coup unit on same day and then uh, the other thought and this again i made a whole video about this is i think it's going to be rage vegeta and there's a lot of reasons be behind that and of course me being a Vegeta fanboy I would love for this to happen it makes a lot more sense that bingo is it regarding Vegeta than it is Goku right so but either one right I think either one people would be very hyped for I think myself I'd be more hyped for the Vegeta but that would be kind of where my prediction lies now also people are discussing well we should get the EZA to Beerus then if it's Battle of Gods and I agree with that so whether it's Goku or Vegeta it's going to be a Battle of Gods celebration and then it's going to have the easy to Beerus because that's going to I, I'm assuming this as well we're going to get we're going to get Gaku easy aid uh, on the global version game what was it 27 and then JP is going to get that like toward the end of February <laughs> so it's global first but like not global exclusive so then everything catches up in the worldwide celebration for Saiyan day um, Rage Vegeta and then easy aid Beerus both we're going to get in the same time that's 
my expectation, my prediction here, I'm speculating the global timeline. So this is what I'm expecting what March is going to look like. So March, of course, then feeds into April and the beginning of April, we sh uh, or beginning of April, we normally would get the New Year's banner from the JP. However, we already have these units. We got Superhero as a dual celebration, as a worldwide celebration, which we've never happened before. And again, in the beginning of April is when we normally would get these units. So we don't have to wait for those. So we're, instead, we're probably going to get the Warriors Raised on Earth category leader in Yamcha, which is a perfect timing because April, April Fools, Yamcha's kind of, you know, a part of that. So this is what I think we all expect for April here, the Warriors Raised on Earth, which also provides the Battlefield um, uh, Hachiak and then the EZA to the Int uh, Bojack, and that's a great unit to EZA as well. So, so that's April, and I think they're going to extend this a little bit further. They're going to try to kind of push it further down maybe this starts like you know uh right at april and they're going to um, uh, extend it to a point where the end of april right we're going to get another worldwide celebration in golden week so we haven't been getting this on a regular basis but recently we've been getting the same time of golden week uh, happening at the same time with with global so last year they did the same thing with cell and um and goku and i can see them doing that here uh during during basically the end of april into may or beginning of may but of course golden week also flows into goku day and this is the, one of the main reasons why i don't see Goku showing up on um on on saiyan day right because goku day 5 9 is really just like a month and a half away and that's where they celebrate, you know, Goku's family, things of that nature. I think they should reserve Saiyan Day for Vegeta and Vegeta's family. That's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping. So, um, so I think this is going to be what the case is going to look like here. Now, again, if it's going to be Goku, it's going to be Goku. But I think Rage Vegeta, Beerus into Yamcha, into Golden Week, whatever that is. I have many thoughts about what Golden Week could be. And then into uh, Goku Day, that's what my expectation is there. And if by then, right, um, Dokkan Festival exclusive LR Go Bros has not easy aid yet, somewhere in between here, or they easy aid during the eight year anniversary, they will easy aid during Goku Day 5 9 2023. Finally, they will. And I think they're going to be an amazing, amazing unit, by the way. So. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if that actually happens. And uh, so this is my prediction. This is my speculation. I've been pretty solid so far about, you know, what the timeline is going to be. And we'll see if it holds true to what this looks like here uh, in the upcoming months. So with that, let me know if you agree, disagree with me in the comment section below. And if you are new to my channel, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on doconning and we'll catch you next time. Later.